Hello drone racers. Today we're going to do a video that's kind of unplanned. What this video was supposed to be was taking the Isheen E010 or E10C and doing some upgrades and making it a better flyer. We've got some new motors we're going to put in. We've got a new frame from the E10S we were going to put on. It's going to be awesome. See how much better it makes. Instead, the video we're going to make is how to check before you plug things in to make sure you're not going to get magic smoke because that's what just happened to me. I have this. I got it all connected. This is my second E10C. I connected the, got all the cables plugged in. I plugged in the battery and poof, magic smoke. So I've, what we're going to do is check a few things to help determine maybe what you could look at in the future, definitely before you get one of the Isheen E10Cs to make sure you don't have this problem. I think I know what the connect problem is, but we're gonna go through a few tests. So the first thing we're gonna do is unplug this camera. I have no idea if this camera is still good anymore at this point. Um, I kinda doubt it is, but I got it unplugged pretty fast. So I've got a battery. We're gonna plug this in now that the camera's disconnected. I, I'm very, very confident that the magic smoke came out of the camera. And if you don't know what magic smoke is, it basically means the polarity is backwards somewhere. Um, the camera takes four volts, probably five volts, but these will provide about 4.2 volts, enough to power the camera, uh, DC, and if the positive and the negative are switched somewhere, the voltage goes through backwards and bad, bad things happen, resulting in things burning and smoke coming out of it. We just call it magic smoke, meaning bad things happen. So the first thing we're gonna look at is making sure the connectors are. I've made several of these and normally what I'll do is I'll solder. If you look at my old E10C video, it was actually before they had this connector, so I had to solder on the panels. And what you do is solder on the wires. So what you do is you solder on back here. So I can see what the wires coming in with the left one is red and the black one or right one is black, I have 4.1 volts. So that's what right what I would expect and that's normally where I would cut this and solder directly to it. So when I plug this in, what happens is the closest connector to me is the red or the positive and the black is furthest away. So I'm gonna very, very carefully connect to these pins and make sure that's what I'm seeing. So there you can probably see that 4.1 volts. So that's wired correctly. So this jumper is correct. The red is closest to me and the black. So this plug goes in correctly. The problem we have now is for the cameras, usually there's no way to know how it's supposed to be. Um, there's no, these cameras are so small. There's no really good indicators. Is that a plus? That might indicate that the positive is on the top, but you can't really tell exactly where it's placed. So I'm going to cheat in this case. And in this case, what we do is, the, the lesson here is be very careful and be very fast when you connect. And if you see any smoke, disconnect as fast as possible. What I'm gonna do here is check a couple others I've got. Here's one of the others that my son actually busted the top of the antenna off. I haven't gone through replacing this yet. But if you look here, you'll see the red or the positive is on the top. Here's my e, uh, e, E10S, and you'll see also, again, the positive on the top. But I've got a number of them, so what I'm confident of at this point is this connector, this wire, is just backwards. Um, this wire is just backwards. That's, that's all there is to it. So here's what I'm gonna do. Best option is gonna be to reverse a couple of these pins, and that can be done Normally I don't do it on something this small. So in order to make sure this is correct, I'm gonna check the wires one more time. So if I could take this and the end that is wired correctly connects into the top here. So that's the top. So then this one, if I go around again, yes, is backwards. So I want to fix this one. Technically it wouldn't really matter, but it would just feel wrong to have it backwards. Yeah, so what I've gotta do is it works best to get the exacto all the way underneath and lift it out just a little bit. Be very careful with the knife. And I think I got enough now that it will just pull right out. Yeah, there we go. So then do the same thing. The other side, there we go. So now those are pulled out. So what I wanna do is reverse them. Put this one in this side. 
only do this when there's no power or anything connected. I think that's self-apparent, but just in case, be careful. Don't, don't rewire into this because if there's a short while there's power connected, bad things would happen. There we go. We'll pop this in enough that it clicks. There we go. It clicked. Now it's reversed. So now let's check it again. Now, if I plug this in here, I have the red toward me, which is correct. If I plug this in here, I have the red on the top. So now, the moment of truth, we're going to very, very carefully plug power into this. Let's see if anything pops. Well, I have lights on the camera. That's a good sign. I have, I don't have a lot of lights, but I do have the signal lights at least. So let's take this off, grab a camera, or grab, grab some goggles and take a look. Well, by George, we have video. Seems a little shady. I'm not sure why I'm getting so much static. I might be on the wrong channel. Uh, I'll have to play with that a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and try and fly it. I might just be too close to the quad. Let's see if we go farther away. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so now we're ready. I burned through that battery just in testing, leaving it connected too long. And I also bent one of the props, or it might have come that way, I don't know, but that's why it comes with spares. So I got that all swapped out. Now we'll see if it'll fly. There we go. So less curious about the flight characteristics of this model, because I'm gonna replace these motors and I'm going to uh, be replacing the frame anyway. So if it's a little wonky, that doesn't matter. I'm mainly concerned about the video and the camera itself looks really good. That's the main thing that I'm concerned with here. The, uh, the video is really clear. I've actually, I've, I just flew an Aurora 68 and the camera on it didn't seem great. And I can definitely tell now flying this one, this one, the resolution or the resolution, the focus on this one is so much better than that even is. Uh, something's wrong with that one. I've got a future video on fixing that one. But the focus on this camera is actually great and it seems to be working. I don't know if those lines are due to something that happened, an internal filter burned out or something, or whether it's just power. But the main thing is, is it does fly. We are good to go now. The battery seems a little short. But at least we didn't end up completely wasting the camera. That's all that really matters. Yeah, the focus on this camera is really, really good. So here we are, slowly clearing out this room. Maybe eventually we'll have room for some more quads. So today we learned that magic smoke isn't automatically death for a camera at least. Be quick about it when you're testing it out the first time. And if you see any smoke, unplug immediately. And in this case, I was able to correct it. And I hopefully you can too. Anybody else has this problem, now you know how to switch them out and we'll move on from there. So next time, we'll be doing some upgrades to this that should make it a real screamer. But for now, if, this, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and a comment down below. It's nice to know that these are helping people. I, I really enjoy the comments, especially when I know people are having problems and um, it's, they've been able to get it corrected and be able to fly. Because the goal here is just to get you in the air. That's the motto, uh, helping you get in the air, helping you fly, helping you race, drone racer 101, whatever. If this is your first video, make sure you subscribe because we have a lot of more updates coming for this quadcopter and this quadcopter and this quadcopter and the bigger quadcopters and have something even that this is gonna go with. That could be interesting. Hopefully that comes tomorrow, but we'll find out next time. Thanks for watching and get off YouTube and go race a drone.